Brothers, sisters, it's no secret to those who are near to me that I've been sick for about a week and a half. And it's been pretty bad. It felt like the flu and feels like the flu. I'm coming off the tail end of it now, but I am getting better. Every year I get this, this kind of sickness, and last year it was diagnosed as a nasal infection, and I'm sticking with that. Though it doesn't have all the symptoms of a nasal infection, I get it the same time, or at least around the same time every year. Apparently I'm very susceptible around the time of October, which is ironically the time between where the the realms are closest together. The void that exists between the realms is thinnest, and the nine worlds, which can be considered the nine main dimensions, become very close to one another uh, because those barriers are weakened uh, right around October. And ironically, towards the end of October is also my birthday, uh, which is the 29th. So I get sick every year with something that is like a nasal infection. And, you know, most of the time, I don't do anything spiritual. In fact, this time, I forgot to... I didn't necessarily forget, but I was at my lowest, where my, uh, my brain was not operating correctly. Uh, I did not try to make myself better with magic. I did not try to make myself better with um, any kind of spell, or any kind of uh, prayer or worship work, um, or even blood magic. I didn't try to make myself well through a bunch of the means that I could have. Uh, but what I did do is burn frankincense. And I started burning frankincense and really inhaling it, um, you know, about halfway through my sickness. And I felt better and better and better. I wouldn't say halfway, probably three quarters of the way. So within a few days, I actually started feeling better. Now this in no way uh, is a substitute for modern medicine. I cannot say that I'm a doctor or you should listen to me over a doctor uh, in regards to this subject, but I do believe frankincense helped me uh, get over my sickness, and it, it acts, in my, in my knowledge, as a natural antibacterial. But, before I talk about frankincense some more, I would like to say that myrrh is, is also a very good incense. Um, I always buy from the brand, well, not all of my incense are from this brand, but most of my best incense are from the Hem brand. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like. H-E-M, and then you see myrrh right there. But... The Hem brand, it uses, they use very, they use very good materials. It's just nothing, nothing is synthetic, nothing is, is, doesn't even feel mass produced. It really feels like the energy is maintained in what they use to make these incense sticks. And there are other, there are other brands like Satya that are, even more traditional in the way that they make incense and uh, how true they are to just using the necessary ingredients. But for some reason, Hem always works for me. It is, it is a reliable brand in my opinion. Uh, now, myrrh is not my favorite incense, frankincense is, but uh, myrrh is, is really good at focusing you. It's really good at preserving a moment of peace. And maybe this is why it is burned and applied to corpses, uh, those who have passed, it kind of allows the energy to have an easier transition to other dimensions, other realms. And I think that without knowing it, that carried it into Christianity. But before Christianity was using frankincense and myrrh, I mean, traditions throughout the Middle East and around the Middle East were using frankincense and myrrh. And uh, the Egyptians themselves burned it in vast quantities. I mean, frankincense they burned. They also used myrrh, but they burned frankincense in vast quantities. They had braziers full of frankincense resin. They would just burn in their temples, which um, <laughs> I wish I could afford that much. Uh, I would just fill my whole house with it. But regardless, myrrh is something that I, the, the incense stick version, is something that I burn on my shrine dedicated to those who have passed. Uh, I, I put an incense stick of, uh, of myrrh over there. I light it, blow it out, allow it to burn, and I have a black tea light candle that I often light over there uh, for those who have passed and trying to connect with them. It kind of creates uh, a moment of focus, like I said. Now, moving into frankincense. I have myrrh burning right now, but moving into frankincense. This is what it looks like. And once again, it's the H-E-M brand, Hem. And I always like buying these tubes in bulk on Amazon. You can get about six of those tubes for five to eight bucks and it's 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 just a really great pr price uh, sometimes it'll be more but a, between five and eight bucks you can get 
six tubes and it has it has at least a couple dozen instant sticks in every tube which i didn't i didn't count i probably should have but um you know over 24 instant sticks in every tube it's definitely worth the price especially for what it does for you now i'm about to burn some frankincense and i often burn frankincense and myrrh at the same time uh in my room in the room in which i have my shrine anyway and my sleeping area and all that just light it and make sure it's kind of burns for a second, blow it out, and then I put it in an instant stand. Usually it's not right here, but for the sake of this video, it is right here. Uh, so I have those two burning, and I, I allow these energies to kind of both focus me and frankincense. The main point that I wanted to get to is that it raises your energy. I feel the physical raising of energy when I'm burning frankincense. It's, uh, it's an experience that I've never gotten from any other uh, instance. Uh, well... Another one as well, but that has frankincense in it that I'm about to get to. But um, I feel that my, my, my energy being raised, and I feel that my sinuses open up, and my body feels like it's full of vitality. I mean, not, not to a great extreme, but the vitality is definitely increased. Um, I, I, feel like, I feel like it is cleansing. Very cleanse off all the negative energy that I pick out pick up throughout the day, and I come home and I burn that frankincense, and it just feels like it washes over me. If you want to, if you want to use it in a different way, what you can do is run the incense stick along your body, up your limbs, around your back, kind of the back of your limbs, and it will pull out negative energy and kind of uh, and raise the energy of those different spots around you, and if you cover your whole body with it in a ritualistic kind of way, then uh, it, it allows itself to attune to your body better and you ingest it better um, you know, when you're just burning it. But if you wanna do that before you burn it, then you, you, know, you start it burning and then you run it across your limbs and your body um, and then put it in the incense stand, that will work especially well. Now, uh, an incense, while frankincense is my, my favorite incense, uh, an incense that has frankincense in it, as well as clove and a couple other ingredients, is dragon's blood. And dragon's blood incense, I also get it from him, is, is something that I would use for when you need that extra oomph. When you need a little bit more than frankincense can give you, and you need to... I like to use it for spell work. I use, like to use it when I'm trying to contact other beings. And I like to use it when, when, I, when I feel like nothing else... Is working and dragon's blood will give you that last little that last little bump um, I don't burn it all the time like I burn frankincense because frankincense is my baseline I like to work off of a baseline uh, an energetic baseline I don't like to use dragon's blood except in instances where I believe it is necessary and then in your mind you create this time when okay I'm burning dragon's blood things are getting serious or things are getting things are getting uh, more vibrationally appropriate for real action in my spiritual life. So sometimes you just want to reserve things for your psyche uh, as well. But regardless, moving on, uh, I'm going to move quickly here through eucalyptus and sage. These two are wonderful, and they come from they come from indigenous populations, like ultimately everything does. But uh, eucalyptus is something that I burn in kind of leaf form, and I might burn it in a brown bowl like this, sometimes on a piece of charcoal. Uh, a lot of the time, I'll, just to get a little bit of it, I'll, I'll, use a, um, I'll use a grill lighter and I'll just burn it inside that pot and kind of toast it enough to get some of it in the air. That feels very cleansing. It's more of a, it's more of a, a, a momentary feeling with eucalyptus. And the longer you burn it, the more it'll feel overwhelming. But if you need if you really need to get a thought out of your head, you need to pull something out of your mind and you need to connect with a certain part of your spirit that you feel eucalypt eucalyptus connects to, assuming you have a connection with that herb, then burning a little eucalyptus is good. Um, now, you can also anoint yourself with anointing oil, which this one is frankincense and myrrh. And I like to anoint myself, and this is usually bought in Christian stores, but I find it incredibly useful for um, marking my third eye and really feeling my third eye once I mark it with those, with those oils, you know, that anointing oil being a combination of the two, myrrh and frankincense oil. Um, once I anoint my third eye, I really feel like there is a drawing of energy and awareness to that spot in my forehead that, that allows me to 
see things through my mind's eye in a way that I did not before anointing. And that's, that's another thing you can add to your spiritual practice. Uh, you could do far more with it if you're going into meditation, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, and now finally, let's move on to sage. Now, white sage smudge sticks are a very good antibacterial. They are, it is amazing. Um, I buy them in sticks like this. You don't have to necessarily buy them in this form. They can be an incense form as long as it's pure ingredients. But I find that these really, they're, they're extremely strong. And I would not burn them unless pe other people in your house or wherever you live know that you're going to burn it because they will smell it in the next room. Even if you have your door closed, if you open it for a second, that smell will go throughout the house. It's extremely purifying. And Native American shamans often use it to... Um, bless a space and get rid of negative energy, uh, which is what frankincense is used for as well. But sage is particularly potent, I found, for uh, blessing your room. Make sure you get every single corner. Try to raise it up to the ceiling and floor. And if you go throughout your house, try to at least get near every wall if you can't get near every corner. And then once you get to every part, uh, if you're doing your whole house and you just want to do the walls, that's fine. If you want to do the walls and corners, that's even better. You want to run it along by not necessarily touching. But after you, after you get done with that, then you stand in the middle of the room and you kind of spin in this circle and it creates this vortex of positive energy and cleansing in the middle of the room that kind of expands out. So that's, that's a good way to use smudge sticks. Um, it's an antibacterial, as I said. I don't know why I didn't have these on hand when I was especially sick. Uh, because that is really what I needed, even more so than frankincense, but I think frankincense really did help me with my sickness. Um, now, all of these things are fairly cheap, and you can find all of these things on Amazon, uh, Amazon.com, and I use it quite a bit. Um, you know, I find myself using it out of convenience. I don't really like the, I guess you could say the CEO, what the CEO does to his employees, but... It's just so convenient, and uh, that's a little bit of my human side coming through and me acknowledging that because it's so easy to use. But if you have a little spiritual store near you, they need as much help as they can get. They need your support because we're losing a lot of little spiritual stores throughout the country, throughout the world, um, that you know sell things a little bit more, a little heftier price. But they're a, they're a local they're a local place of business that is always good to have available. For the residents of whatever area and it really brings people together in a spiritual way so support your local spiritual store um the spiritual store near me that is local is miracles of joy in lewisville uh, lewisville texas and i live in flower mound but right next door and uh, i go there periodically to kind of uh help them out and pick up some things that i, that I would really like to have uh Sometimes when you walk around a store, you just want to get a feel for what's in there and be like, okay, I feel like I'm drawn to this. I'm going to get this. And uh, try not to allow yourself to be drawn into buying as much uh, as you might feel urged to buy, but just the things that you are especially drawn to. Uh, well, this basically concludes my video about uh, my favorite incense. My favorite incense is frankincense, but I think I covered some other things that would, you will find useful. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you want to support me on Patreon, I'd greatly appreciate it because I need more patrons. And uh, I'm working on growing my channel. Uh, we've kind of stagnated uh, in the recent days. But uh, if you want to support me on Patreon, that's a big help. And if you want to share my videos, that's a great help. But hey, either way, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see all of you on my videos in the future.